Hi, my name's Dan, and this video is one in a series of videos I'm doing about using materials in Unreal. And in this one, I'm going to talk about bump mapping, sometimes called normal mapping, and we'll see why. So I'm going to do two things in this video. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to do it, and it's really, really easy uh, because it's just plugging stuff in any material. And then after that, I'm going to actually spend a little bit of time explaining why this works and what is going on uh, under the hood a little bit, not in huge depth or uh, using any maths particularly, but hopefully to give you an understanding of how bump mapping works. So uh, bump mapping is uh, a thing that came in a while back in uh, rendering, which is uh, being able to take a, a flat surface and give the impression that there are indentations and bumps on that surface. Um, and this is normally done, or usually done, using what's called the normal map. So let's create a, a material and demonstrate this. Uh, I'm going to call it my cobble. I'm going to use cobblestone textures on this. And just open that up. And I'm going to go searching. This is a third person um, template by the way, and with the starter content. And these textures that I'm going to use are just part of the starter content. And I'm going to look for the cobblestone rough and the bluish one, which is the normal map. So normal maps are normally got this kind of blue and cyan and a bit of magenta to them uh, in the way that they look. That's just the way that the, the data is inside that texture. Um, so I'm going to plug in, just to start off with uh, uh, the cobblestone there, and we can have a look at that. And it looks okay, but obviously it has this kind of flattish look to it. It looks painted on. We've got some um, lights with some highlights and some shadow that's been pre-baked into the texture, which is good. Um, I'm just going to click apply so that that's been saved. And I'm going to go back to the... Um, Material and apply it to this block here. Let's have a look at it, what it looks like in the game. Um, so, again, um, it's not bad, but it's not as convincing as it could be. We've got quite used to uh, using uh, bump mapping on uh, on materials and the textures, so um, it, it looks a little bit odd as a result. Uh, so, let's go back in and plug in the, uh, the, the normal map, which goes, as you might expect, into this normal. Um, pin there. And this, like other textures, is mapped across the surface and it's done in such a way that you can see where the, the different bits coincide between the two textures. And if we did anything to change the UVs, we should do it to both of them so, um, so that it maps the same across. Um, and as we look at that, uh, it's, you can kind of see there that it's got some um, idea of indentation if you particularly if you watch the specularity the shiny high spot there as it moves across the surface you can see it changes shape um, and that's been done uh, by this uh, normal map this mapping technique in fact mostly this affects the specularity which is what gives it that uh, realistic look um, uh, in, in fact because the normal map and the texture itself coincides so well and it looks quite uh, usual for us to see things like that these days. Uh, one of the ways to demonstrate the use of the, of the normal map more strongly is to disconnect that texture and we're just going to have a black input for the base colour here and as you can see it gives much more of that impression that it bumps there um, as that's mapped on as I move it around. And we're just going to click apply and see that in wills. Uh, I am going to run at this. So we can see that this block has got that, uh, certainly the impression of those uh, indentations and that roughness on the. Um, uh, let's finish this off and plug this back in here. Um, and apply. And have a look at how that looks. Ooh, I've had a bit of a complaint. And you can kind of see it, hopefully. It's less obvious, and that's fine because it's meant to be a subtle effect on this particular thing. The, the UV mapping on this block isn't 
particularly designed for the textures, so it's um, it looks a little bit odd, but otherwise that looks fine. Okay, so that's how you do butt mapping. You just get a, a normal map and you plug it in to in your texture. Pretty straightforward. There are all sorts of you can do subtle effects and um, uh, change things in that. And if you look at some of the uh, materials that are provided with the starter content, you'll see there's quite a lot more complex stuff being done in some of those materials. Uh, but this is the the basics of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, I'm going to go out of Unreal. I'm going to talk about some uh, some of the theory behind this. We've used this term normal maps. We've used the term bump maps, and this is just a, a quick explanation, therefore, of how this is working. So this uh, thing that you can see here looks like it's got bumps on it, and how do we know? It's because there's light and dark areas, and this is to do with the uh, particular the, the the element of light called specular light, uh, which gives us uh, shininess and it gives us a, a bit of a highlight here, but it also gives us dark a bit under here as it uh, as it does the texturing and the a little bit of shadowing and the way that the, the light falls on it. Um, so we can see this, and in our heads we kind of interpret this as uh, the surface is actually the same colour all over, but some bits are pointing at the light more, and some bits are less so. And it's all about the angle of the surface and the angle of the viewpoint and the angle of the light, and it's an interaction between those three elements. So um, this diagram here shows how if you, um, you've got a, a model here, this kind of line across the bottom, just imagine that's a flat surface, and we've got a bump. And the light's coming out this bump from an angle, and that's going to reflect off that bump differently depending on where it hits the surface. Um, and we know how that's going to reflect. The math, the mathematics behind the those reflections and the light um, calculations that are going on uh, are dependent on what's called the normal vectors. Now, if you know what normal vectors are, that's fine. If you want to know more about vectors, I've got a, a series of videos on vectors particularly and their use in, uh, in Unreal. And normal vectors are of particular interest here in lighting. Um, but a normal vector is a vector that points directly outwards from the surface. So you'll see down here, where it's flat, these normal vectors point straight up. But here, where there's a bump, in the middle, it's the kind of, it's as if it's the, in the same direction as the flat bit down here, but as it curves around the sides, that normal vector, which is perpendicular to the surface, is pointing outwards at different angles. And those normal vectors affect the lighting calculations. Um, and so what we can do is we can fake the effect that the light has on this uh, bumped surface without actually using a bumped surface. We still use a flat surface, but we lie about the normal vectors. Uh, we give uh, the lighting calculations and inf information that says, actually, at this point, the normal vector is pointing in this direction, out towards the left, and this one's straight up, and this one's out towards the right. And that's exactly what a normal map is, is it's, it, it maps across the surface and says what is the normal vector uh, that, that is at that point in time. So normally, uh, normally, when you uh, create a normal map, if you're doing it by hand, you will start with a thing called a bump map. And this is why it's called bump mapping, but it's sometimes called normal mapping. Um, and a bump map is, uh, again, a texture, and it's usually expressed in black or white. And this is a kind of bark texture bump map. Um, and this is done where white is uh, meant to be higher out of the surface and black is uh, lower and indented into the surface. Um, and it's easier to create uh, bump maps if you're doing it photographically and then using processes or doing it by hand than it is to create normal maps. But then you can use converters to turn uh, bump maps into normal maps. And here's uh, some normal maps. So they've taken the bump map and they worked out what the normal vector should be and e each point on the surface it's using the rgb channels to give you the x y and z of the direction of the normal out from the surface and that's why you've got this blue predominance is because the blue is the uh, if it's pointing directly out from the surface it gives you blue um so we normally use not again i've used that word again we normally use a normal map for um to do this bump mapping effect 
It's usually predominantly blue. Um, and if you look in the, the next video that I've got after this, I'll uh, show you a website where you can create your own normal maps from, uh, from normal color maps and from uh, bump maps and various things. So that's been a, a quick rundown of bump mapping and normal mapping. Hopefully uh, an understa understanding that you might gain or an explanation that might help you as to why this works and how this works. And that's it from me for now. Mm -hmm.